friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Here on today's video, I will be sharing my 2024 spring home tour with you guys. I cannot believe I just said that we are already in the spring of 2024. I don't know where the time is going, but on this channel, I love to make every season that much more special. I believe that we need to celebrate every season of life that we were in. That's why I love decorating. But what you will find on today's video and on my channel is all things thrifty, cottagey, farmhouse, DIY. I love showing you guys how to reimagine the pieces that you already have in your home, giving it new life. And of course, just all things thrifty, pretty much 90% of my home decor at this point is thrifted or secondhand from my family. And I feel like I've been able to truly create the home of my dreams. So before we get started, I have definitely not been active on my channel very much, definitely the past quite a few months, I think six months at this point. And I have some exciting things coming up. So definitely stick around to the end to, catch up with me i'll chit chat with you guys share some things that have been going on things that are to come all things good all things good for sure but if you are new here hi hello and welcome my name is olivia and here on my channel i like to create all sorts of feel good content just plan out good for the soul so if that interests you i would love for you to join my youtube channel by hitting that subscribe button down below it would mean the absolute world to me but like I said, you guys came here for a 2024 home tour, home decor tour. So without further ado, welcome to my home. Starting off the spring home tour in my entryway. On my door, I have a beautiful faux lavender wreath. But besides that, my entryway decor is quite minimal and very neutral. As you can see, I have a pop of color with one of my handmade banners. You can check out my Etsy shop. You'll see a couple of my handmade banners for spring and Easter. Those will be up on my Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description below. I love those sweet bunnies with the little bows. It definitely brightens up that area a little bit because as you can see, I have some more dried floral arrangements with that pompous grass in that wicker vase. And then something that's quite fun and really sweet to me in this wooden rolling basket. It was handmade, handmade by a family friend, but I have stuffed it with my limelight hydrangea heads. And it's my pride and joy because the, that was the first year it had its full blooms. So I recently just cut those off and placed them in that beautiful handmade basket. Moving right into my favorite room of the house, which is my office. This is where I spend countless hours every single day. All of the furniture is secondhand and pretty much every single item is thrifted which i absolutely love this beautiful wooden hutch it is a true antique and i found it off of facebook marketplace for a hundred and fifty dollars which is a complete steal i actually did as you can see i painted the inside of this hutch to really allow my decorating and decor to pop uh, because before it used to be that dark stain um now it's just nice and bright. I have a transfer design on there on the backing and I actually have a video on that which I will leave in the description below. But for the most part, my hutch is always some sort of garden theme. And I just have a collection of really beautiful items. You'll see I decorate my hutch with beautiful chinoiserie pieces, glass items, ceramic. I love using books, you guys know that's my favorite thing to use in my decor. You'll also notice that I love bringing natural elements inside. For the winter, I use a lot of pine cones, but for spring and summer, I use dried hydrangea heads. I also have a beautiful monarch butterfly that I have in that little glass house. Moving right over to my reading nook, 
This is where I love to spend my mornings. I drink my coffee here while I do my devotional, write in my planner. Sometimes I like to reflect on my day in this chair right here, which I found at Goodwill. But I have a collection of just things that bring joy to my life. Don't worry if your decor doesn't fit a certain vibe or a certain aesthetic in your house. As you can tell, and as from what you can see from this gallery wall, it seriously is just a collection of all things that make my heart happy. I actually have a video on this DIY frame wall where I have those floating books. It's just magical and whimsical. That is truly what I was going for. And again, I have that a video on that. I'll leave in the description. This metal chandelier light fixture is a Facebook Marketplace find and it actually used to be in a nickel finish. I knew I loved the shape of it but I hated the color so I simply changed it by spray painting it matte black. Welcome to my very humble kitchen with outdated countertops and cabinets. But as you can see, I have tried to make the best of it. I've tried to bring out a very cottagey, shabby chic, cutesy aesthetic. Because I feel like that is that is what goes best with the current countertop and cabinet situation. So I decorate with a lot of thrifted items. As you can see, I have some vintage porcelain serving plates, bowls, teacups. I just think it adds such a feminine touch. I love trying to, since I don't have a backsplash as you can see, I try to fill the blank space with little knickknacks, just things that honestly make my day. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I make my coffee right here. I cook all my meals from home. I'm very fortunate and blessed in that aspect. So I spend a lot of time here. And I just try to decorate in a way that just brings joy to my day-to-day -day routine. I absolutely love using these fresh florals. I cannot, I do not know the name of these flowers, um, but I will leave them in the description because they last forever and they are the cheapest you can get at the grocery store. So I will leave info on those, on those flowers in the description below. has more of like a vaulted ceiling which really uh, opens up the space but as you can see we have no windows except for our sliding glass door and that doesn't even get direct sunlight so to really brighten up the space I went with a lighter color wall paint as well as lighter furniture and the best choice I've ever made was painting our fireplace brick white this room again is chocked full of thrifted secondhand antique store finds so i can't really share with you guys the specific place that i found certain pieces but just know that if you do a little bit of garage sailing take a, a saturday morning go thrifting to antique malls decor stores you can definitely find pieces that make your heart happy I love decorating with books, using them as risers for candles or vases, flower arrangements. I love layering pieces. You'll see that <laughs> pretty much in every single vignette, whether I'm layering mirrors, 
wall art, picture frames, all sorts of goodies. And I also love layering in my handmade banners again. This one is so beautiful to me. It is an Easter banner with many different layers, paper layers. I love the little bunny charms on each tassel on both sides. It's just so sweet. blessings, new joy, and just beauty into your everyday to day life in big or small ways. decorated it using some wall decor. I think it really livens up the space and really creates a welcoming atmosphere as you go into the guest be bedroom and my bedroom. I actually have a video on a complete DIY makeover of this room. I will leave it in the description below. The furniture used to be dark. The walls used to have this weird tan shiny look to them outdated light fixtures just very dark and dreary and not cute so the vibe that i wanted to go for in this room is very much like a spa oasis that's what i call it my little shabby chic cottage oasis i love shabby chic cutesy feminine touches you can see that on my um, nightstand and dresser a lot of ceramic pieces, porcelain pieces. I love, absolutely love this TJ Maxx bust planter head that I have some floor arrangements sticking out. I absolutely love the color combination of white wood tones and pops of green, light green, dark green. It just makes my eyes so happy. There's something about seeing pops of green in furniture or decor or wall art. It brings a sense of calm to that moment and that's perfect for the bedroom. And if you have that all white aesthetic but you are ready to start adding in pops of color into your home and through your decor, I recommend adding in pops of green. It just does something to my heart. But you guys should decorate your home. That makes your heart happy. Ignore the trends, ignore the noise of the world. Allow your home to bring that sense of calm and joy and belonging. That's how your home and how your decorating should make you feel. I hope you enjoyed today's home tour, spring 2024 home tour. And if you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you love all things thrifty, eclectic, cottage, shabby chic farmhouse, this channel is for you. More is more, less is a bore. This channel is chock full of all things good for the soul. And if that seems like it resonates with you, then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know your thoughts, thoughts in the comments. And also give me a follow on Instagram at Olivia Effie, where you get to sort of see all the things that I have uh, been up to and things that are to come more on my personal day to day life. And definitely at the end, here in a little bit, I will chit chat with you all, explain where I have been, and then all the exciting things that are to come. But if you just came here for the spring home tour, 
I hope it has left you better than it found you. I hope it has got your gotten your heart so happy and excited for the season that we are in, for the sunnier days, the flowers, the butterflies, the birds. Like, oh, I love hearing the birds chirp in the morning. It just makes my heart so happy. And I hope it makes your heart happy as well. So have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next video. And to everyone who wants to stick around and figure out where in the world I have been, I just want to sit down and update you guys. I have tried to film this so many times because there's so much to unpack. But I, again, I feel like I just keep saying this. I'm gonna try and make it as short and sweet as possible. And that's really the goal. Anyways, the past six, seven months, I have maybe uploaded once a month, if that. So a quick recap, sort of where it all started. Back in the middle of September, I was in full swing of fall 2023 decorating. And all of a sudden, I experienced this like paralyzing burnout. It, burnout with my creativity, with my creative thoughts, my ideas, um, just excitement to design and create and make and share that with you guys. It was like, it was, it was just gone. And for me, like that's who I am. That's my whole personality. And for that to be gone, doesn't feel good so um october november december those were definitely more difficult months um it seems like it seemed like i only had enough energy to work all day and i feel like i definitely put i put more energy into work than i did anything else and i don't know if i ever want to do that again <laughs> work and then maybe go to the gym, take care of the house, take care of me, take care of anything else, day-to-day -day stuff. And that seems, and it seemed like that was all I had enough energy to do. And for me to not really have the energy or motivation to create or upload or just create in general, just craft for fun, like it, it just didn't make me feel good. It didn't make me feel like myself. And sometimes that can allow me to just spiral and just, it, it's almost like it, it makes it makes it harder for me to dig myself out of this like rut that I'm in. I'm sure you probably understand what I'm laying down. And to anyone who felt upset for the fact that I went from weekly uploads to not uploading and you're like, where in the world is Olivia? You're probably upset. I'm upset too. <laughs> I just want to apologize from the bottom of my heart because you guys show up for me. You guys show up for me every single week. And for me to not show up for you, I feel like that definitely made me feel absolutely horrible. And I just want to apologize. Um, but I want to share with you what I learned from that season and also what I was doing, doing during that season of blah and rest and sort of just bare minimum during that season of bare minimum honestly it was a season where i feel like god taught me so many lessons but during the time i didn't i i felt like god didn't have his hand in it for sure i felt like i was in this narrow dark tunnel and i just could not see the light at the end um but and if you feel like you are going through that season or you have, I just want to remind you that God doesn't give you things that you can't handle. Everything that is happening to you, it is happening for you. I definitely feel like God put me through that challenging season so that I could come out stronger on the other side. I am stronger for this exciting season that I'm in and I'll get into that but it was also a time of rest. And I actually got to spend a lot of time with my mom. There were many weekends that I was staying the night at her house. Uh, I was helping her get like our childhood home spruced up, potentially ready to sell. So a lot of painting, just spending time with my mom in general. We did some traveling, so that was amazing. And then also I got to host Thanksgiving and Christmas and I had like family over for like a week. For Thanksgiving I believe so to anyone who hosts 
and, and especially if you have like family stay for like more than a night, it's a lot. But during that time, I was able to experience something that I feel like I've never really been able to experience during the holiday season. Like I said, my mind is always going with creative juices, always thinking of what I need to do next, what else I want to do, exciting ideas that I have like pop up in my head. Like I said, during that time, I didn't really have that. I didn't have those creative juices flowing. So during the holiday season, I was actually able to like sit in my like self, sit in my, sit in my own thoughts and enjoy the company that was in front of me. Like truly be able to just sit down and enjoy the time that I was spending with my family. It was really nice. And I feel like that was definitely a God thing. Like God blessed me with that time of sort of more of peace. <laughs> Um, time of celebration and enjoyment and not really worried about me having to get another video out, me having to worry about, you know, growing my business, growing my social media. It's nice. Um, but again, I do apologize for being MIA. But I'm back and I have some exciting things to share with you all. Like I said, I came out of a really difficult season. It was challenging. It was a good season of rest and just spending time with my loved ones, but it was challenging for me mentally, but that made me so much stronger for the season that I'm in right now. And I want to share the exciting things coming up. First off, I will be selling my banners along with some other things, but I'll be selling my banners at an official like pop-up market. So last spring I was on Facebook one day and I had seen uh, my friends like that I grew up with post about this pop-up craft market. Um, it was called, the, it's called the serendipity market. And think of like <laughs> the most large small business, like Etsy, market and i feel like that's how i would describe the serendipity market think of all the cute farmhouse shabby chic boho crafty unique like small businesses on etsy and they're at this they were at the serendipity market market last year and i was so bummed that i missed out because it was a one-day event but guess what I made sure that I was going to be a vendor for this year. So back in January, I applied um, to be a part of the serendipity market. And it's actually ran by two women who are also small business owners. And I was accepted to sell my banners in a 10 by 10 space. Um, I still need more information as to what, like exactly where I, like what building or section I'll be in. I don't know yet. Um, but we're less than three weeks away. And this is actually something my mom and I, we have always dreamed of doing. My mom growing up, she, we would do like mommy and me days. And we would always, she would always take me to like the covered bridge festival here in Indiana. That's a famous one. Lots of art fairs during, uh, December, January. Um, and then just all sorts of farmer's market, pop-up markets, and we've just always heard a daydream, especially my mom. That's something that she's always wanted to do. And the fact that we are doing that together, I know I have to make all my banners, but we're definitely going to be putting together like little, uh, like other little things to sell. And that's just so sweet um, that she is just helping me with this process and that we get to do it together. I'm so excited. So I will leave the website of the serendipity market. So if you are a Southern Hoosier gal or person, it is going to be April 27th, Saturday, um, for about six hours during the day. I don't think it, it's like from 10 to two or 10 to four. I think it's 10 to four. Um, so it's just a one day event, but if last year was an absolutely amazing turnout, this year is going to be even better. I think there's even more vendors. Wow. What an amazing, I cannot believe that these two women have put together this 
this many small businesses it is just like a celebration of just all things good for the soul and that's what that's what i stand for so i'm beyond excited and i'll definitely try to document the process what that looks like because this is uncharted territory for me and i also want to be sure to vlog the day of and share this amazing journey with you guys so just definitely stay tuned for that and also another exciting thing that is coming up if you've been following me for the past year then you would have known that last july i competed for the very first time at miss indiana usa 2023 and i ended up finishing as fourth runner up and i share the miss congeniality award with the beautiful winner and current queen miss indiana usa herself Haley jordan begay and that's like the ultimate like that's like the most meaningful thing that happened to me out of that experience um it was truly a, just out of this world um the the organization again the Miss Indiana USA director, team, organization. Like, I feel very blessed to be in Indiana because I got to experience that. And I am so excited to announce that I will be back competing for the title of Miss Indiana USA 2024. It is going to be the like second weekend or for, first weekend of June. So we are less than two, we are two months away at this point. So we are in crunch time. I have two vlogs in the work, my headshot vlog and then my gown shopping vlog. But definitely stay tuned, especially if that interests you. It's just fun to share this exciting journey with you all. And again, I wouldn't be going after the title of Miss Indiana if it wasn't for you guys. YouTube. Um, you guys are truly the ones that showed me that I have a purpose and a gift to share with the world. And I want to share with as many people as I can that we all have a gift, a talent, a story that needs to be shared with the world. Even if it just inspires one or a handful of people, I truly believe that whenever we sh we let our light shine, that when we let our uniqueness show through, our skills, our story, it can truly change the world. I truly believe it. I always say that a simple smile can change someone's day, change their life, honestly. I believe that that is what uh, Miss Indiana USA embodies so i want to bring you guys along this exciting journey go give me a follow on instagram updates will be happening on there uh, so you can stay tuned on my instagram i'm just so can you believe that can you believe we are already like into the next year's competition when it's right around the corner and i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking around and listening to my chit chat portion of today's home tour and it was a home tour but again like i said i have not really been on here very much i definitely have been doing a lot of behind the scenes work and i'm just ready to share it all with you. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember that every day it's a new opportunity to leave someone better than you found them. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.